Oh, this is fun. Sitting out in my drill in a storm. Giant cardboard boxes of doom and spiky things flying past my head. But the job's got to get done. Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of Astroneer with me Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. I want to get a vehicle built today so we can go and explore. Uh, I've been thinking about, here we go, let's set this one up here. I've been thinking about trying to get ourselves a big truck for the outside exploration and a smaller one for inside going down into the tunnels and that sort of thing. Uh, let's build a vehicle bay. What do we need? Two aluminium. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Yeah, for the, <laughs> yes, in America and in England, we pronounce those things differently. For those of you that were commenting in the comments, I do know how to pronounce aluminium. That's how we say it here. But those across the pond say aluminum. And I think we spell it differently as well. So that's why. Oh, maybe I don't have any and I might need to do some trading. So I want to do that and head around out here. I want to go down into a deep cave as well. Um, I followed this to the end. This actually just opens out on the surface. So it's not a deep cave yet. We also need a research pod to research any things that we find. Let's just have a quick look over here. So every time I start the game, it seems to like add new things in. I don't know what is going on with these rocks, but I can't remove them. And I'm not sure these things are working anymore. I don't know what's happening there, but I'm pretty sure I've only got hydrazine here. Oh, there's those things. They're back again. So I might have to do... Darn it, I need to fill in this hole. I might have to do a little bit of trading to get myself some aluminium. Because there's not any around on the surface anywhere that I've seen anyway. And I, I tend not to go too far because the storms on this planet are ridiculous. <laughs> yes, I said ridiculous. So, let me do a little bit of trading. I'll be back with you in a sec. Right, my trade vehicle is back. I've built the researcher. Let's see what exciting things we can get from these. And then I'm going to put a smelter over here as well. And then I'm, going to, I'm probably going to open... Oh, nice. Some more titanium. Fantastic. One of these was just lying around outside. I don't know where it came from. But we've got a lot of different stuff we need to smelt. So, and we've got this aluminium here as well. Uh, oh, some more lithium. Excellent. I traded away some of mine, so that is very much needed. And another resin. Do we have any more we should have? There we go. Let's pop one of these on here as well. So I want to find some more secrets in the game. I know that there are more, more weird things that maybe you don't know about. There's secrets being found every day. Smelter. What do we need? Two compounds. Excellent. Let's add that in there and that in there. There we go. We can smelt up this stuff. And a lot of these secrets are found underground. So I want to get underground and see if we can find those. There we go. The power will start building up. Excellent. I'll smelt some stuff. I'll be back with you momentarily. Right. Let's get this vehicle bay done. I have some aluminum. Aluminium. There we go. And there we go. Excellent. The vehicle bay. And let's just remind ourselves what options we have. Oh, there we go. I guess we're dropping down into there. If I put some of this on here. There we go. And there's another one. Whoops. Let's walk around this side. Excellent. So we can build the rover. Which is cool. Yep, yeah, we can build the truck. We can build the shuttle. We can build the spaceship. Um, so should we go look around on the surface? How about we take... A truck with us and do that. What do we need for that one? We need more aluminium. Yep, yeah, we have some. I just smelted up. Have I got it on me? Oh, I've actually got it on my back. Handy, handy. So let's pop that in over here. There we go. Got some more aluminium. Let's build this truck. I'm hoping that none of these rocks are going to get in the way. Let's smooth this out a bit. We're also going to have to make a chair. As I don't really want to use the one that's on my craft. I mean... Ideally, I'd like to have two of these, but that's going to cost us a lot of aluminium. So, maybe just one for now. Because you know what it's like. We want to add a load of storage on the back and all that sort of thing. I could probably wangle together. Look at these floating blocks as well. Every time I start this game <laughs> from this save, it puts a load of floating blocks in the air, which is a bit weird. So, let's grab a storage. Uh, what else have we got in here that I could drop off? Let's stick this in here. And that one, because I'm going to take that, and I want to make a chair when that's got enough power. Let's bring my battery over here. But something's happened with the power sharing between these. They don't seem to share the power very well. So at the minute, I'm having to move the battery around, 
which is a bit odd. Um, but there we go, it's working. Let's get that seat. So now, whoa, 360. So now that's empty, I'm moving it down here to fill up again from these. So anyway, that's what's going on. Let's drop that there. And then we're going to need some sort of power to get around because unfortunately, <laughs> there it goes. Let's pick that up. Unfortunately on this planet, there's no... There's no power and oxygen to be found just lying around. Not that I can see, anyway. We haven't sort of gone too far. Where's my chair gone? Oh, there it is. I thought that just disappeared into thin air. Let's pop that on. So this is slowly filling up with power, actually. So I might just leave that connected for a little bit to totally fill up. And then I think we're probably going to end up just taking... If we take the solars with us... No, I want that on here, please. There we go. And a wind vane. I mean, that's going to take up a whole slot. And then we can put another storage on there and maybe see how we go with that. The wind is quite strong here, so <laughs> maybe that will maybe that'll keep us going. Right, I'm going to get another storage. Get it all charged up with power. Then we'll be ready to go. Something else I'd also like to take a look at is... Let's have a look through here. Habitat, one seat, winch. I've not <laughs> I've not tried the winch before. And that's going to take both of the titanium that I have. Yeah, let's give this thing a go. I'm hoping we can just attach that to our vehicle and drag some things back. We'll see what we find. Here we go. Look at that. That is one weird looking thing. Well, let's give this a go. Let's, let's attach it to our vehicle and see what happens. We are fill up on power, and hopefully we're going to get enough power. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there. We're going to just drive this forward. Can one of these attach to the front? No, it won't. Okay, well, let's, let's jump in. Let's just move this forward a bit. Oh, we've got to disconnect. Oh, it's disconnected. Okay, that's fine. The winch, I'm assuming, can I just attach that to the back? Yes, I can. And how does this work? Oh, I see. We can sort of attach it to things like that. That makes sense. Okay, let's just try attaching one of these to the front again. No. Okay, well, we've got enough power, I think, to keep us going. I just want to do some research. Oh, the winch is now attached to the ground. I just want to do some exploring, I mean, and see what there is around. How do I get this to go back? There we go. It's back. And hopefully not get too lost. I mean, that's the idea. So... Our base is... Oh, look, there's those things blowing around again. Our base is over there. So, I mean, this is pretty difficult terrain. Is that going to damage us in the car? No, they're not. It's good. Let's go and have a look and see what we can see. Wow, this is like some sort of horrendous terrain. <laughs> no, don't go bugging out, please. Okay, let's get back in. Come on, let me back in. Thank you. Okay, that's where I was digging before. Let's get out of that ditch. Oh, wow. This is going to be nuts. Okay, let's get back in. Is any of this going to be flat? Go on, you can do it. Go on, you can do it, maybe. No, let's go this way then. Oh, my goodness, this is going to be fun. Wow, so bouncy. And already... Oh, lithium. Seriously? And already, I don't know where the home is. It's like not showing up on the list. Look. You just can't see over the hills. It's in there, but... Wow, we really cannot go far, can we? Without uh, losing our base. Um, Just waiting for these to stop rolling by. Yeah, I think we're maybe safe. There's something moving down there. Can I get this lithium? Is that something I can mine? It doesn't look like it is. So we're going to have to come and bring the crane to grab the lithium. Okay, let's uh, let's make a beacon. Wow, so there really is some cool, rare resources on this planet. Let's leave that there. Let's continue. So if I go back up this hill... And I know there's research in all of these things. There we go. Look, that's our base there. Oh, that's where that tunnel comes out I told you about. It opens up into this. I know there's research on every tree and underneath everything. 
I don't need to grab all the research. Okay, what I could probably do with doing... Oh man, this just worries me that I could go so far and really just put <laughs> not find my base. And also the compass doesn't work properly for people that are saying, use the compass. It really doesn't. Um, that's a documented bug at the moment as well. I'm, I'm sort of... I know where the base is. So I'm keeping my, my eyes peeled for things, but I'm also keeping an idea on where we're going. Yeah, the uh, the compass, you take a few steps and suddenly the compass won't work anymore. It's weird, so... Oh, it points the wrong direction. No, don't bug out! Don't bug out, please! Phew! I don't want, I don't want it to bug out. Um, let me look at these massive things here. Oh, something somebody said. These green plants here, to get coal, they said bury them under the ground and then dig them out again. A couple of minutes later. So let's give that a go. No, he's just disappeared. Okay, there we go. Oh, watch out, this thing's coming. Let's put that on the front. We'll take that with us. Okay, that one disappeared. Maybe we could try it on another one. Oh, there's one right here. Let's just move this forward a bit. Oh, man. Oh, there's the, there's the thing over there. Oh, jump out. There we go. Let's try it with this one. Don't hit me, don't hit me. So there's some more research. We can get that first out of the way. There you go. Uh, let's build this up then. Nope. He just disappears. Oh well. Can I drag? Okay, let's see. Can I winch that with us? Oh man, I could see this all going terribly wrong. <laughs> no, it's dragging. It's coming with us. Okay, there's a cave down there that seems to go quite deep. I'm thinking our best bet... Oh my goodness, this is horrendous. Is to go... Is to go caving rather than trying to explore on the surface with this thing. Because... The terrain is horrendous. Our base is up here. Is it still dragging that thing? Oh yeah, there it is, there it is. It's still got it. The terrain is horrendous, and... Oh, good grief. We're just going to get... At some point, we are going to go underground and get absolutely stuck. Look at all these green things everywhere. And what's this? What's this in the wall up here? Ow! Okay, let's get a bit closer. What is this? It's not letting me actually mine this thing. Oh, no power. There we go. Let's maybe move this a little bit closer. Get in! Oh, that was close. Well, there doesn't really seem to be anything. Oh, though, I think there's some research on the top. Is that some research up there? It is. It's unknown research. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, there's research everywhere, isn't there? So, not too worried about that. Let's have a look. Down here. Our base is over to our right. I've still sort of got that in my mind as to where we're going. Come on, you can do it. Okay, we've managed to sort of loop around back to where we were. Look, there's like <laughs> four storage pods just sat there doing nothing. I am beginning to hate this planet with a passion. And there we go. Look, now we've got a terrible storm that's kicking in. Good grief, this place. This place is nuts. Can I just drive this straight in here? Is there enough room? Oh, maybe there is. Oh, look at that. We can just about... Get it inside. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's have a look at the research that we've got. Has it managed to be? Oh, it's just my winch has disconnected because of getting near to these things. Oh, good grief. Well, maybe we need to make uh, a tunnel down and start looking underground instead. I think that's going to be a better idea. <laughs> but to prepare for going underground. I'm going to take these off. They're not going to be coming in very handy. We're going to make a battery to take extra power with us. So that lithium that we just got comes in handy. There we go. Uh, I think that needs to go on here. Or will it fill up on there? I'm not entirely sure. Let's leave it here and wait for that to fill up. There we go. We're connected. Hmm. I'll get that to fill up before we go anyway. Um, a tank would be good. Although I'm not sure I've got spare aluminium. We have. There we go. I shift clicked it on. Calm yourself down. Oh, it's titanium for a tank. No, I don't have any spare titanium. Okay, well, 
Let's just have a quick check around. No, I think we've spent all of that. But okay, the energy one will be handy. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to find oxygen underground. We're going to take... Oh, there we go. It's full up. We'll take some compounds. We can make a load of tethers. And I'm going to start digging down and see what we can find. If we can find a really cool cave, that would be fantastic. Is that going to work on the side there? We shall see. I'll stick it there for now. Right, so I'm going to start heading down. Oh, it's letting me research them now. I don't know what's changed from a second ago, but I thought I'd just bring you back in for this. Oh, titanium. Fantastic. Just what we needed. And that one there. Let's wait for that to fill up. So what was it we were going to make with some titanium? Let's have a look. A tank. Yes. I want to take a tank of oxygen with me as well. Let's research that while that's going. There we go. That's filling up nicely. And some more lithium. Excellent. Right, I'm going to continue down underground. Uh, also, I'm going to make some filters. And just to reiterate again, these filters don't help you with the plants that spit out the green gas. They should be renamed a rebreather rather than filters. They don't. They, they sort of filter the air so you can breathe it again. They don't filter out any nasties that are that are in the air. That's basically how they work. So if a green plant spits its gas at me, the filters will not save you. Keep that in mind, otherwise you will be dying. Right, I'm going to carry on digging down, see what I can find. But I've made some filters anyway, just to try and make my oxygen and stuff last a bit longer. So when I do get to a cave, I don't need to use so many tethers. Man, I do, <laughs> I do not want that so steep. Right, I will carry on. Wow, we have gone so far down. I'm trying to be careful here not to suddenly go sliding, but good grief, this is nuts. I'm sort of beginning to think that there's not necessarily any underground caves. I mean, to go this far and not come across any at all. Can we get this one to connect? Seems a bit weird, but... Whoa. And don't forget as well, we're not going to hit the centre when we go in at an angle like this. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just wanted to find some caves to explore, but I don't know. This seems weird. I'll keep going. I'll let you know. Well, I've dug a very long way and absolutely found nothing under the surface. I've not come across any ores. I've not come across anything at all. No caves. Look how long this tunnel is. And here we are, back at the surface where our base is. So, I'm, I'm not convinced there's anything under there. So, yeah, I may just go and collect back my tethers and try one other tunnel and see where we go. Uh, if I don't find anything... Oh, here's a little underground space. Oh, yeah, I saw this. It's got even more research scattered around. We may have to consider moving to another planet and seeing the next one on the list. Let's see how that goes. Right, I brought these researches back. We're going to get some titanium. So, I mean, if we had to move on again... It's a shame we can't take all of this other stuff with us. Oh, I didn't click the button. There we go. Um, I mean, we've got some good stuff we can take. Oh, oh we've got some more titanium. Actually, because we've already researched these types of ones before, they're just going to give us resources, which is good, because we're getting some titanium. That means we can trade it for some stuff to fill up our stocks. If we move to another planet, I would like to try and use the crane, if we can, to try and dig up some of that uh, aluminum, because we haven't tried that before. Right, let's see if we can get the crane on our vehicle. I'm just smelting up some copper here, as I believe we're going to need that. My backpack is full. I've got all these extra goodies. And these are pretty much all giving us uh, this lithium now at the moment, which is good. That's good for uh, trading as well. So let's hope the weather's not too bad. No, we're fine. Okay, what do we need? So there we go. It's going to add the crane onto the back of here. <laughs> I've not used this before, so let's give this a go. How many copper is it? Is that enough? Oh, it needs four. Okay, yep, we've got one more. Have I not got it on me? No. Let's go and grab that. I'm pretty sure we've got the recipe for the drill. So is that the copper there? There we go. 
<laughs> Let's stick that on as well. This will be interesting if we can grab a load of really expensive stuff and take it with us. Let go there. There we go. That would be good. Okay, let's pop that there. There we go. Let's add the crane to the back of our truck. Just watch out for those flying dangerous things. Look, there's more research. It's just literally getting blown through the air and landing outside our base, like, all the time. Okay, crane. Excellent. Right, let's go and have a look in here, then. I think this is where we need to make the drill head. Can I chuck that in there? Oh, excuse me. Coming through. Oh, they're inside. Evacuate. Evacuate. Oh, there's more coming. <laughs> so we've got the winch. Got the habitat. Got the generator. Got the battery. The drill head. Have we got the stuff to make that. We need another copper. I must have some copper around here somewhere. Copper. There we go. If we stick that on there. Good, good. Let's make this then. Oh, they've despawned. Excellent. Bum, 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 bum. Now, this is going to be fun. Because I've heard this is pretty interesting to use. <laughs> Let's see. How we go in. Okay, we know there's no storm because the, the weather vanes are working. The wind vanes, whatever they're called. Okay. Right, well, let's disconnect this. There we go. Let's jump in here. And how does this work? There seems to be a separate a separate seat here, actually. Look, if we... If I tab out... Oh, hang on. Tab out. Oh, it showed us to get in this seat first. So we go for them back. There we go. Oh, oh this is wiggly. Okay, so it's basically going to do it where I point. Oh, I see. Okay, nice. Then it folds back. Right, where was that lithium? We did put a beacon. Are we not going to be able to pick any up? We'll be able to store some and some on there. Uh, what have we got on our backpack? Uh, we've got a couple of spaces. Yeah, that'll do. Let's go and see if we can find that beacon. We need to probably get up high. There's the house. There it is. It's over there. So this planet pretty much seems like everything's on the surface, nothing is underground. That's that's how it seems to be working to me. Oh man, this is going to be an adventure, isn't it? Getting over there. Let's just go for it. Up and over and round. Go on, Biffa, you can drive it. Woohoo! Maybe you can't. And it's off. Come back. Come back. Oh, and it's landed again. Excellent. Right where we need it. Look at that. Okay, well, let's see if we can grab some of this. We can. Nice. Oh, I'm liking this. There we go. There's a bit more there. Can I zoom in and get a bit and get a better angle? Not really. Yep, we can see it's collecting on the, on the side. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there we go. It's falling off. We've got so much. We're grabbing organic as well. Okay, let's... No, don't go in there. Let's move you up a bit. Okay, that should do. Yep, let's grab some of this then. Was there another thing that fell on the floor? There's some organic there, which unfortunately we're not going to be able to get rid of <laughs> until it fills up. I don't like that bug. It's an annoying bug. Uh, let's just put the beacon up there. Up high. No, come back. Because if it's up high... Where's the highest point we could go to? I don't want to go on top of that plant. And then at least maybe we can see it from a distance and know that our base isn't far. Can I put it down here? Yeah. And we can see our base from there too. Okay. Nice. Let's just see if we can get some more of this lithium then. Whoa! That was a big jump. How are we doing for not falling in the hole? Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Can I reach right down there? I can. Man, this has got some reach on it as well. Is it going to fill up the couple of lithium slots that we've got? I think. Oh, there's a bit underneath. Oh, there's a... <laughs> oh, we're getting dangerous now. Ah! No, get myself out. What's going on? 
I'm here, I'm here. Everybody calm down. Don't freak out, game. Don't freak out. There we go, there we go. Excellent. Oh no, the wind's kicking in. There's some lithium on the floor. I don't know whether they get blown away or not. I'm hoping that I'm safe in here. I, I'm sort of thinking maybe I'm not. <laughs> we shall see. Oh my goodness. Technically you shouldn't be, but I think you do end up being safe when you're inside here. Oh my goodness. Well, this is fun. Sitting out in my drill in a storm. <laughs> giant, giant cardboard boxes of doom and spiky things flying past my head. But the job's got to get done. Yep. Stepped out the vehicle. Got whacked in the head by one of those nasty flying things. <laughs> and if you remember back when we first landed here, there was this titanium formation down here. I don't know whether it seems to have all disappeared. I, there was some in these rocks here, but it seems to have gone. Uh, let's have a little drill and see if there's any left down here. Uh, let's go around this way. Yep, so we can break those rocks. Is it picking anything up for us? Ah, oh, it seems to have gone. But we know that's on the surface as well, so it may certainly be worth having a look around nearby to see if we can find any of that. There seems to be a tiny bit of a bug with a drill at the minute. Oh, there's like a hole through to nowhere down there. Um, it seems that if this is full up and it sort of spits them off, um, it spits them off broken and you can't pick them up. Like that one I can't pick up and it looks like it should be fine. Yeah, they just sort of seem to break. So I don't know whether that's by design or not. And then this won't fill up on here. Oh, that's my battery. I'll have that back. Thank you. Yeah, a little bit weird. A little bit weird. I'll just have a look down here. Is this some sort of cave? Have we found a cave or is that just to where I was drilling? No, that was just where I was drilling. Okay, right. I'm going to head back to base. Well, this isn't going well, is it? Oh, dear. Uh, there was some sort of underground cave, but I don't think it goes very far. Let's just have a quick... <laughs> nope, it doesn't go very far at all. Oh, well, at least I'll be able to get out of here easily. Good. Let's just dig some of this away then. Give me half a chance. And up. Don't bug out. And up. Don't bug out. Flatten. Yeah, there we go. We can get past this rock. We're free. Good. Well, would you Adam and believe it, I found a cave. I've already gone through a couple of load of tethers. And hopefully this doesn't come outside again. I'm thinking it might do. I thought I'd found a good underground cave. Still could be. Yeah, this is still a cave. I think it's just a massive cave. That's why it's got this misty appearance. Like it. Wow. Wow. This cave is huge. Good grief. I think I need to bring my vehicle down here. Although, I'm a bit worried that if I suddenly drive off with my vehicle, I will get lost. Whereas, if I use tethers, <laughs> I've always got a way back. Alright, I'm going to head down as deep as I can. Oh my goodness, this underground cave is so big, you can barely see the sides of it and what's around you. This thing is nuts. Look at the size of this room. Imagine trying to make a... Let's have a run around. Imagine trying to make your base in here. This would have been fantastic. So deep underground. No idea. This seems to be the bottom of the cave. I'm going to dig down a bit. Whoa, there's obviously some gaseous plants around here that I might have just upset. Well, other than this cave being huge <laughs> and spooky and going on forever, there being random research lying around. This is the first ore I've seen. And these things... Let's just dig that thing out. There we go. They will grab you and drag you up into the ceiling. You have to be really careful of those. There's nothing else that I can see around here. I mean, this room just goes on forever. Look what I found. Hematite. Iron ore. Now, what the heck is this used for? I don't think we've discovered this at all before. And I've not seen any... Oh, no power. I've not seen anything that says it needs that. Interesting. Well, I'm going to grab some of this with me and take it back with me. <laughs> that made sense, didn't it? <laughs> Sadly, I've run out of tethers and there's nothing down here to make any more. So, yeah. 
Oh, let's see how we go. Okay, we are back on the surface. And I think that's going to be it for the arid planet. We are going to head off to a new planet. Let me know in the comments below where you would like to go next. I'd like, whoa, look, there's some of those gassy things. I didn't realise they were just lying around on the surface. Oh, I hadn't come across those before. I need to get up, I need to get up and over there. What's going to be the easiest way to go? Uh, let's follow our noses around this way. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below where you would like to go next. Well, let's get in. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> no, don't bug out. Please, I don't want to die. Thank you. Let me in. Drive. Phew. Yeah, let me know in the comments below where you would like to go. Hit the big red B with the T stain on. Let's just jump for it so you are subscribed to my channel. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode when we head out to one of the more further planets in our system. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.